Hey, what's going on there? Leo here with another video to perhaps help you, the small business owner here in Solano County, increase your online exposure so that more customers are able to find you um, with this video tips that we're going to go over today. So today's video, we're going to be talking about what in the heck is your business supposed to post on social media, right, to be able to attract more customers to become a customers. Um, so let's go ahead and, and do that. Um, but before we get started, uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Leo. And as I mentioned earlier today, I do have a small company here in Solano County called Digital Track. And we work with small business owners or we help small business owners here in the county um, to help them increase their online exposure so that more customers are able to find them. We do that, number one, by uh, uh, building an online foundation if you don't have one. Uh, or number two, to help you fix your online uh, presence. If you, for example, have issues with the way your online presence is listed, right? You have wrong information. Um, you have the uh, customers complaining about the, it's hard to find you. You have uh, customers complaining that information they see about you is wrong. Or number three, right? We, uh, we can work with you in different ways of how to help you increase, increase that online exposure. All right. So... Let's go ahead and get started here. So social media posts don't generate leads and sales automatically. If you just post something in there, out there, and don't have a specific uh, set of goal, of course, it's not going to say, say, uh, help you generate leads or sales, right? It has to be um, uh, with the right intention how you're going to do. What we're going to learn here, what we want to learn is basically how to point followers back to our website or to whatever result we want, either a phone call or visit our stores. Uh, so that we can increase those results. That what we, that's what we want to do, right? We just don't want to post uh, with no purpose at all, but um, how that post can help us increase uh, followers to go back to our sites, to our websites, or to call us, or to um, uh, visit our store. Um, so social media is a stronger tool than most small business owners realize. Right? They'll be satisfied with just a few likes, retweets, or shares here and there. That's just basically um, cute metrics. They don't really tell you, tell you much about um, what your customers want, right? <clears throat> the, the, the idea here is thinking big. Your social media posts should all have the same goal, right? Um, and that's it to, well, they can obviously help you get get either feedback from the customers by you posting questions or um, they can help you um, increase awareness to your customers, right? You have a new item in the menu, you have a new product, you have a new service. Um, but the ones we want to focus on, because all those are important, but the ones that will help you move that needle is to help them incite your followers to visit your website or your company or stop in and make a purchase. But how do we go about that? How do we inspire our social media followers to take the next steps toward becoming paying customers? All right, so we're going to cover that over here. Uh, we're going to be posting content that inspires them to make it easier for them to visit you, whether online or by phone or in person. And here's how we create those social media posts to drive customers your way. Uh, so number one is to get social media followers to visit our website. One of the ways we can do that is by posting, um, by creating blogs or by posting um, different social media posts about blogs, right? Something that may educate their or customers about specific service that we provide. The other day, for example, I saw a insurance agent posted an article um, that you know, it could be interesting to uh, a few niche of people. That's what you want, right? You want post articles that could be interesting to a few niche of people. The problem here is that that article was going to a page that didn't mention anything about that uh, agent. <clears throat> you gotta be, we gotta be a little more smart in the way how we do that, right? If we're gonna do something like that, if we're posting, sharing an article, we wanna take them to a page where um, it has information about us, right? Where if they read the article, and something makes a decide on the article that they want to ask more questions or they want to learn more, uh, who do we contact, right? So at the bottom of the page or somewhere in the page to have your contact information or have a way for them to fill up a form to get a, to contact you or to schedule a call. Um, 
So that's the type of um, things that we want to do to get social media followers or with your website. That's just one example. Um, number two, right? Inspire social media users to call your business, right? So do your Facebook followers have questions that only you can answer, um, right? You can basically, for example, have um, posts on, uh, on advertising on Facebook that um, you can then uh, run the advertising, run a specific uh, promotion or type of um, service that incite people to ask more questions. And you can even have your phone number listed there. Um, you can have a button to go to the contact us, say contact, and then have them contact you to um, <clears throat> um, to a page right on your website where it has the contact information. Um, I don't know if it has a call now. I have to check on that, uh, see if there's any call now anymore. Um, you can have in it a button that says send us a message instead, right? You can do stuff like that to inspire people to contact you. Um, this third thing that we have here is give social media followers a map to your storefront. Uh, I believe there's a, a way there to set up a geolocation for your business. In any case, uh, whenever you, you post something, right, um, you can have your business address listed and that will set up as a link. Um, <clears throat> You can also say you can also put any any time you can put it on the button of the advertising. You can put you can put a button with a link to somewhere. That link can be right the Google Map um, button to or the Google Map location to help people get to your location if that's what you want them to do. All right. So those are again just to recap real quick what uh, type of um, post we want to do to invite people to incentivize people and inspire them to take action right to become paying customers is number one we wanted to um, <clears throat> find ways to get them to our website <clears throat> especially I think this works a lot with service business based business right um, invite people to get to a website either create post <clears throat> or blog uh, or video information that can help them learn more about specific things that your services do right um, and I don't know, you either create posts yourself or create uh, or have somebody else create uh, a blog post for you. There's so many services that business that provide those services over here um, in the area. So that can be one. Uh, and as a matter of fact, if you send me a message somewhere, I have an article in a podcast that talks about this business owner, local business owner that builds cages and clothes for like pools. Um, in back in, down in Florida, that um, with Facebook ads, I think they did almost two millions um, in in a in a year period, and I think they only spend uh, I don't know, uh, can't remember the numbers here. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, All right, so it says they spend twenty nine thousand, so and 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 to earn two million. So, I will say that's a pretty good uh, return on investment. Um, the name of the company is Gold Cost Aluminum, and back in down in Florida. And again, if you interested to learn how this um, service based business right and did that with two million, they did they did two millions in sales in twelve months with only the span of Facebook ads of $29,000, right? So how does that happen? Um, you know, that could give you ideas for your own business as well. Um, so I can share the article with you if you, if you send me a message or or, or uh, comment below, depending on when you're watching this, to give you other perspective and how, you know, this helps in reference to point number one, get social media followers to visit your website, how they can help you increase your customer your customers or your followers to paying customers. Uh, number two, inspire them to contact you, right? We already mentioned that we have ways you can put your phone number there. You have ways you can put a button to send your message, right? Uh, number three is um, make sure people know how to get to you, right? So um, you can put the information there to your location. Uh, you can put a button there that can link into um, um, uh, to your store and also I uh, there's a type of ad where you can put several pictures about your business and one of the pictures you can include a geolocation meaning a, a little map that people can click in there 
right? Let's say they're looking at pictures of your products or service or products, right? You're a small restaurant. Let's say you're looking at a picture of your food and then towards the end, uh, okay, you know, I definitely want to check it out right now. Uh, especially if you are doing that ad in really close location to your business, right? Um, the the last picture could be a, what they call a geolocation, which basically it's uh, a link to your a map, to a map, to your business. So I hope this information was helpful. If you, for some reason, have uh, any questions about what we cover or any other, uh, or if you would like to see other type of videos, let me know, post it below. If you are a small business owner or if you are a business owner and you um, have other ideas you want to share with us or what other things you do, you post on social media that can help you help us generate more sales and leads, uh, please let us know, share it with, uh, with our audience um, and then have something special for you, a special bonus. If you are a small business owner here in Solano County that um, is having issues with customers complaining that they cannot find you online or the information they find online is to your competitor for some reason, right? Or that um, your business information is wrong. They see the wrong ad business address, the wrong phone number, the wrong address, and I just cre create, you know, confusion with customers. If any of those happening, uh, let me provide you a free analysis report of, of why that could be happening. You can all you're gonna do, if that interests you, is uh, go to digitaltrack.co forward slash scan my business, and then you're gonna go click the information here, click the button there, and what's gonna happen next? I'm gonna receive an email with the with the information you provided, and if I have enough information, I will go ahead and and set up the report, uh, and then. I'm going to contact you again to set up a time to talk, right? To go over the analysis report, right? What does it mean? Where is the issue? Why is the issue with the issue happening, right? Um, and then based on that, I will provide you some recommendations of uh, what can be done to fix that, those issues. So if that's something that interests you, again, you can come to digitaltrack.co forward slash climate business. If all you want to do is basically continue following me, my my videos and get more information about me or, and, and continue to follow me, um, you know, you can come to my website, digitaltrack.co. You can see my email information there. Send me an email Say, hey, Leo, please keep me posted on what you're doing to subscribe you to my newsletter uh, or send me a text uh, or call me. That's myself. Um, or you can just come to the bottom of the website, um, see my different social media links see in case you want to, you have one of these and you want to follow me, see what new things are coming up where other things are new. All right, hope you have a good one. Bye.